probably one of the most famous and longest professional rappers of all time, Snoop Dogg has made a fortune both in the music and film industry for decades. As one of the longest known rappers who is still active in the industry, there's a lot to unload with our man Snoop. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. If you're new, welcome still, and don't forget to hit that like button below our video and subscribe to our channel with the notifications turned on. Today's video will be about Snoop Dogg's net worth, lifestyle, and how he spends his millions. So if you're curious about how a celebrity like Snoop lives, then stay tuned to know more. Who's Snoop Dogg? Like other rappers and celebrities in the industry, Snoop Dogg is just a stage name. Born on October 20th, 1971 in Long Beach, California, as Calvin Cordes Art Broadus Jr., he was the middle son of Vernal Vernado and Beverly Broadus. His father Vernal was a Vietnam War veteran and singer who left the family three months after he was born, so his mother named him after his stepfather Calvin Cordes Art Broadus Sr. Yes, it's quite a mouthful, so we're just gonna stick with calling him Snoop from here on out. When he was young, his parents nicknamed him Snoopy because of his love and likeness from the character of the same name in Peanuts. He inherited his biological father's talent as a singer and began singing and playing piano at the Golgotha Trinity Baptist Church. It wasn't long before young Snoop took on rapping during his sixth grade and frequently rapped in schools. Recalling the times he started out rapping, Snoop said that he drew crowds which made the principal think that there was a fight going on. He added further, It made me realize that I had a gift. I could tell that my raps interested people and that made me interested in myself. Snoop Dogg's Current Net Worth Aside from being active in the music industry for years, Snoop Dogg was also pursuing other business ventures that racked up his earnings annually. As of 2021, his current accumulated net worth is estimated at $150 million. He has spearheaded a list of business ventures that includes cannabis, a production company, and dabbled even in the film industry, a music career that spanned for decades. Snoop Dogg and his two cousins, Nate Dogg and Lil Half Dead, along with his friend Warren G, started recording some homemade tapes and called their group 213 after the area code of their native Long Beach, California. But it was his work on his solo freestyles over En Vogue's Hold On that was on a mixtape that caught the attention of Dr. Dre. Impressed with his work, the influential producer called on Snoop to audition where former NWA affiliate The Doc taught him to structure his lyrics and separate the themes into verses, hooks, and choruses. His career started in 1992 when he was featured in Dr. Dre's solo albums Deep Cover and The Chronic, where he took on the name Snoopy Doggy Dog, where he became a member of the starting group called The Dog Pound. Before he broke out in the music industry, Snoop was involved in a lot of unlawful activities and was even sent to trial for murder. A short film came about from this experience called Murder Was The Case, which was released back in 1994 with an accompanying soundtrack. He was acquitted of the murder charge in 1996 and has expressed that he didn't want to live that gangsta lifestyle, since he thinks it would lead to his assassination or imprisonment. In the middle of his murder trial, Snoop Dogg founded the Doggy Style Records Incorporated in 1995 and released his second album called The Dog Father the following year, 1996. His feature on Dr. Dre's albums gave him a lot of exposure and put him in the spotlight and it wasn't long before he released his debut album called Doggy Style, which became a critical and commercial success. In 1998, he signed with No Limit Records, where he released three more albums entitled The Game Is To Be Sold, Not Be Told 1998, No Limit Top Dog 1999, and The Last Meal 2000, before switching record labels once again. This time, he signed with Priority Capital EMI Records, and under EMI, he released Paid The Cost To Be The Boss. But it wasn't long before he shifted to Geffen Records in 2004 and released three more albums, RNG, Rhythm & Gangsta, the masterpiece, then The Blue Carpet Treatment and Ego Trippin'. He released Malice in Wonderland and Documentary in 2009 and 2011, respectively, before announcing his conversion to Rastafari after taking a trip to Jamaica in 2012 and taking on a new name, Snoop Lion. As Snoop Lion, he released a reggae album, Reincarnated, and a documentary film of the same name about his Jamaican experience in early 2013. Snoop also appeared in numerous TV shows and films, such as The Wash, where he starred alongside Dr. Dre and in the horror movie Bones. In 2012, Snoop also co-starred with rapper Wiz Khalifa in the movie Mac and Devin Go to High School, for which a sequel has been announced. He has had very supporting and cameo roles in films, including Half-Baked, Training Day, Starskin Hutch, and Bruno. It wasn't long before Snoop returned to his old name, Snoop Dogg, when he released his 15th studio album in May 2015 entitled Bush, and another album released the following year in 2016 called Kool-Aid. With all this music released, Snoop has garnered 17 Grammy nominations, but has yet to win one so far. In 2018, he released a gospel album entitled Bible of Love, and 2019 released his 17th studio album called I Wanna Thank Me. Snoop Dogg's Lifestyle and How He Spends His Millions Working all these years, Snoop has amassed a large fortune, and of course, he's not afraid to drop cash as soon as he sets his sight on something he wants. Working all these years, Snoop has 
amassed a large fortune, and of course, he's not afraid to drop cash as soon as he sets his sights on something he wants. Through the years, his garage has housed a lot of interesting models in his impressive car collection, and he's been known to carry around over $400,000 in cash. A lavish estate. Unlike other celebrities who like to buy properties here and there, our man Snoop pretty much keeps his estate to a minimum and seems pretty content with the residence that he has, which is quite the opposite to the Kardashian Jenner family, who's known to buy properties at the drop of the hat. Here's what we know about Snoop's real estate portfolio Claremont Crib. First on the list is his 6,525 square foot residence, located at 3986 Swarthmore Court, which he bought way back in 1994 for $660,000. This piece of property property is in Claremont's Blaisdell Ranch subdivision and was featured on the MTV Cribs back in 2000. Before he put it in the market for $2 million, he renovated the place which included a state-of-the-art recording studio, home theater, marble fireplaces, a lot of built-in wardrobes, chef's kitchen, two master suites, six bedrooms, a pool and spa, an outdoor tennis and basketball court, and a four-car garage. A Diamond Bar Residence Despite offloading his Claremont crib, Snoop still owns a 3,800 square foot house that sits just shy of 2,500 acres at Alamo Heights Drive in Diamond Bar, where he resides today. The property was worth $720,000, but now has a value that soared to $2 million as of today. The Chooch Close to his Diamond Bar home is a getaway residence that has unique amenities such as a vending machine that dispenses a drink for a dollar, a blue lit hallway, and a multi-level cat tree for Frank Sinatra, who is a white cat and the only resident of the house. The Dog Father's Car Collection Snoops likes to show off his car collection, but unlike the one sold in the high-end market, his collection differs in the sense that he incorporates personal customization. To start the list of his rides, we have the 1974 Cadillac DeVille Lowrider in lime green color, which was customized by Big Slice and was baptized with the special name of Snoop DeVille. It's priced at tens of thousands of dollars at auctions, even before customization, and is part of the Cadillac trio in his collection. Next up, we have the 1967 Cadillac DeVille, which he called Brown Sugar, which has a unique feature, chandeliers in the back seats, as well as a unique trunk design. To complete the trio, Snoop also owns a white 1968 Cadillac DeVille, the coupe version, which has Bible quotes and pictures of Snoop's family on the hood. He's also the owner of a three-wheeled Polaris slingshot that has a price tag of $26,000. Notably for its shiny chrome blue base, it has a purple dashboard that's quite the attention seeker when driven in the streets. Snoop also has a 1968 Buick Rivera parked in his garage that has an intricate family painting on the hood. Of course, he also has a Rolls Royce Ghost, which is worth $312,000, a 30,000 Dodge Challenger SRT8, a Ferrari 458 Italia that can be fetched for a price of $2,000. $245,000, a 2011 Ford Mustang GT priced at $35,000, and a bright yellow 1968 LA Lakers edition Pontiac Parisian, which was gifted to the late famed basketball player Kobe Bryant upon the player's retirement. Honorary mentions in his list of automobiles are a Chrysler 300C, which he didn't buy but was rather sponsored to him by Chrysler, as a spokesperson of the brand, and a classic yellow school bus, which he bought when he started coaching junior football in 2005 for the Roland Heights Raiders. He customized the bus for the team which now dons a silver color with a painting of Snoop holding a football on the side. A paint job and a remodel of a bus can cost $10,000 to $20,000. Charity Support Being as rich as he is, our The Dog Father is known to lend a helping hand to several nonprofit organizations throughout the years, which includes 21st Century Leaders, Boys and Girls Clubs of America, Habitat for Humanity, Live Earth, Make-A-Wish Foundation, Mission Australia, Music Cares, Operation USA, and Orca Network to name a few. In 2016, he gave away 3,000 turkeys to the less fortunate in Inglewood, California during Thanksgiving, and is known to work in partnership with city officials to help those in need. With that, we're wrapping up today's video of Snoop Dogg's net worth, lifestyle, and how he spends his millions. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button before you go, and subscribe to our channel with the notification bell on for more content like this. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you again next time.